let's deal with this homeowner in St. Louis. You know, by now have seen this. It was the pictures slash videos seen around the world. Some dude in his pink polo shirt, his khakis, and his wife come marching out of their house, hold weapons up to these Black Lives Matter protesters who had just kicked down his gate and marched across his property. Here's this. The only thing we said is this is private property. Go back. Private property. Leave now. Um, at that point, everybody got enraged. There were people wearing body armor. One person pulled out some loaded uh, pistol magazines and clicked them together and said, you were next. Um, we we're threatened with our lives, threatened with a house being burned down, my office building being burned down, even our dog's life being threatened. Um, it was it was about as bad as it can get. I mean, and there was, you know, I really thought it was storming the Bastille, that, that we would be dead and the house would be burned and there was nothing we could do about it. It was a huge and, and frightening crowd and they were they broke in the gate and were coming at us. Here's the thing. We've talked about this before. And it's, by the way, I, I'm hearing, and I don't have confirmation on this because I don't do research for the show. I'm actually hearing those two are civil rights attorneys in St. Louis, Democrats. So it's not as if these are card-carrying Republicans from what I hear. But be that as it may, it doesn't matter. Democrat, Republican, as I've been warning everybody about. People move to certain neighborhoods mostly it's the suburbs or there's always that super nice neighborhood in the city no one else can afford to live in people move to those neighborhoods for a reason they move there for a purpose and one of the main reasons all the time is safety these areas especially like the burbs these areas are armed they are armed and what's happened now is since nobody has had the balls in this country to put down these riots to put down this absurd black supremacist movement. Nobody's had the balls to put it down. They're emboldened. They keep getting bolder and bolder and bolder. You've seen the videos all over the place. Trashing cop cars, shooting at people, violence, looting, rioting, all over the place because they're the power in these neighborhoods now. Cops can't do anything about it. Cops have been ordered to stay home, don't do anything about it. And now they're getting bolder and bolder and bolder. And my big, big, big concern is they're going to get bold enough to start moving these things out to the burbs. And when they start moving these things out to the burbs, that's going to be a really, really, really ugly situation and a potentially very deadly situation. Oh, it's going to take one wrong thing here, one wrong thing there, one person snaps here, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. Why? Because nobody... Republican or Democrat had the balls to stand up and speak out against this insanity in the very beginning. Everybody cowered down. Everybody catered to the mob. Everybody threw their stupid commie Black Lives Matter hashtag all over their social media page. And not one person had the guts to step up in this country and be an adult and say, uh, no, you can actually not loot anything. In fact, you can shut up and go home or you'll be arrested immediately. But hey, what do I know? That just sounds like leadership to me. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.